We end up part one of I count in flying years when she had just started training to become a wasp at the Sweetwater, Texas facilities. During training, Ms. Cowden had her favorite airplanes and not so favorite. Let's pick it up from there. In primary, we trained in the PT-19. The PT-19 was easy to fly, and that was a needle airplane. Open cockpit, lots of fun. This plane was the second plane we flew. It's called the BT-13. The engine was so rough that uh, when we uh, go down the runway, it would just it would just vibrate. So we called it the BT vibrate. It was very difficult uh, to get out of a spin because it didn't really have enough power, and it was really too big to be spun. I think with the power that we had. This one time my seat belt was loose and I flew to the top of the canopy <laughs> and my instructor said, what are you doing up there? <laughs> By the time Ms. Cowden finished her training, she had qualified on 19 different aircrafts. But there was one aircraft that was her favorite. The plane that I really loved to fly was the P-51. It was so well balanced that once you got it up in the air and you got it trimmed, it, it just stayed there. If you leaned one way, it would turn. If you leaned forward, it would go down. If you leaned back, it would go up. It was absolutely wonderful. During her service, she had many adventures and exhilarating experiences. One day, uh, when I went to pick up a P-51, I looked in the ship's papers and it hadn't been flown. You know, as long as I'm here, I might as well take it off. Going down the runway at about 100 miles an hour, I was just ready to take off and a thought came to me. I, thought, I wonder if everybody that worked on this plane put in all those right screws and everything. I pulled it off and it flew. It was so wonderful because I knew I was the very first person that ever flew this wonderful airplane. And then suddenly, one day, it all changed. I was on my way home from uh, New York uh, to Dallas, my home base. And on the way, I heard that the program had been deactivated. A brief ceremony, a handshake, and the program was over. And then they were sent home at their own expense. I rise today to introduce a bill that is sponsored by every woman in the United States Senate. All 17 of us have come together to award the Congressional Gold Medal to the Women Air Force Service Pilots, called the WASP. The Congressional Gold Medal is the highest and most distinguished award that this body can award to a civilian. In Huntington Beach, for a run on about Orange County News, I'm Gustavo Garrillo.
a very sad day for me.